I think going into the game, you're you're a little bit concerned because obviously there's 14 changes off the last off the back of last week, and you know what does that cohesion look like? You know, um, to be fair to the guys, I thought they trained well this week. Um, you're never too sure what it's going to look like in a performance, but you know, I thought they showed really good. I think, I suppose, a really good endeavour. I think the intensity was good, like right from minute one, really. You know, and. Um, you know, we we did the simple things well. You know, very effective, scored tries in a number of different ways. So yeah, no, overall that was that was a pleasing first half. Um, what it was a six tries in the first half, so um, very very pleasing. Um, second half, you know, like you know, because we, we did a, not that the game was similar, but like there was certainly similar aspects two weeks ago against Ulster. Um, so we talked about trying to just making sure we keep our shape defensively. Um, Second half, maybe we were a little bit passive. I thought Connacht, you know, to be fair to them, held on to the ball for long periods, um, and you know they just, they just they were just good in terms of their attack in Connacht. So um, it was good to be like we we held them out for the most part. Obviously, we give away a try from a driving line out, um, but overall, now we're we're pleased. We're very pleased to get a number of guys through the game, um, and yeah, it gives us plenty of headaches. Obviously, going into round five and six of Europe now. Real positive step for Max, I think, again, yep. So, um, yeah, no, like he looks very dangerous in when the ball in hand. Obviously, got in for the first try, well, got one more as well, so in from closer range. Um, so, yeah, no, he's the competition in the back row is really good. I think it's driving everyone on. So, um, yeah, as I said, like it's just one of the areas where we've um, a lot of guys that are pushing each other on, which is pleasing. There's a number of things that you probably look at. Um, you know, from the players, you know, we we're trying to learn the lessons from two weeks ago because, you know, if you think back to that game, I think we lost the last 20 minutes, 28-7 that day against Ulster, so we didn't want to repeat of that for starters. Um, and maybe we were a little bit safe off the back of that then. And so defensive system-wise, I thought we looked pretty good, but we just probably lacked that bit of zip or intensity in some of our actions, um, which was different to what was in the first half. So, And as I said, I think Connacht were good in terms of recycling the ball, keeping hold of the ball for like long periods of play which just had a bit of a wearing effect on us um you know for the bench guys like you're always looking for those guys to really add impact you know and you know we'll have a look back and who are the guys that added impact who are the guys that are saying you know pick me for this role in the future or in the starting team so um a little bit mixed you know like uh, you know at credit to Collins, i thought they dug in well you know they could have easily folded up you know from where they were at half time but you know, they as i said they held on to the ball well made life difficult for us pulled us around a little bit um but you know anyway we we got the job done it's you know, it's, it's. I think it's hard for the players maybe to keep that level of intensity up to that same level. Um, as I said, like with a number of guys, you know, dropping with cramps as well, um, meant that you know we probably lacked a little bit of intensity. But you know, that's the challenge for us now. How do we keep that intensity for 80 minutes? You know, we're obviously we're playing Leon uh, here next Sunday, and the challenge there is, you know, we you know we want to make sure we get maximise every single point in these two last European games because. You know, we know we talked about it all the way through the pools. Um, you, know, you qualify from your own pool, but then you start competing against the teams in the other pools. So that's the thing we need to understand. So we're now actually not actually competing against teams in our own pools, competing against the other pools. You know, so what are Exeter doing? What are Racing doing? Claremont, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, where are they sitting in terms of points? So even though they're not playing against them, we're actually competing there against them for seeds. So. That's the big thing that we need to focus on really for the next two weeks, how we deliver two quality 80-minute performances where we are literally maximising everything. We're not giving up any cheap scores or you know, giving teams cheap access into the games where they can build more pressure on us and we lose out on building pressure on the opposition.